Happy now, happy now. All is now is a gift to be in the present. First say aside and back in here. Putting out my perception into the cloud of collective to expand a collective consciousness. You're now turning into the mind of an alternative moon. And Horus will be transiting the fifth house in the sky. It's actually 555. Five, five. Okay? So Horus will be transiting the fifth house in the sky. And this is going to be my continuation on the moon signs. Okay? So my last video will be Leo. And this is going to be in the Virgos. It's going to be Virgo moon. All right? So Virgo was born from a sixth house. Born from a sixth house. Virgo is a mutable earth sign that is being ruled by Mercury. Okay? Mutable earth sign being ruled by Mercury. And this is, deals with, you know, routine. What you do on a day-to-day -day basis. You know, what you work on. Your health. You know, your ability to schedule something. House of analysis. Okay? What you choose to work on. Okay? As an individual. So with a Virgo moon. Right? Looking at this. With your moon being your comfort. Your planet of comfort. Your yin. To your yang. Your emotional body. Okay? So. With a Virgo moon. Comfortability for you comes through working on. Yeah. Working on something. Okay, so with the Virgo moon, right, you receive, okay, moon allows us to receive, so, again, like your inner world is Mercury, so you receive thoughts and ideas, okay, and you take these thoughts and ideas innately, and you, you know, you process these thoughts, thoughts and ideas, because that's what Mercury deals with, the processing of thoughts, Okay, so you process these thoughts and ideas and you think about how you can go about making these thoughts or ideas practical in a way you can see and touch these thoughts and ideas, meaning work. That's basically the energy signature of work. Okay, so you receive thoughts and ideas and you want to work on these thoughts and ideas. So you make these thoughts and ideas practical. Okay, so you work towards manifesting your thoughts and ideas. You wanna see your thoughts and ideas physically by working towards them. Okay? So, uh, you know, and so like I said, in what you do on a day-to-day -day routine, you know, health, ability to schedule analysis, right? So. Like I say, with with this, you know, let's say with your, your, uh, because the Virgo is that worker of the Zodiac, right? The energy signature of that Virgo is to be of service, you know? So like I say, this is mutable. So this is mutable. This is a mutable sign. So you can work with other people, Okay. Uh, more than likely a, a Virgo, you, you can you can work by yourself, but since it's mutable, okay, mutable just means, yeah, adaptable, back and forth. So the thoughts and ideas you receive, you are able to communicate. Mercury being that planet of communication, you are able to communicate with others, okay, communicate to others on how you can go about manifesting, you know, how you can go about working together on these, the thoughts and ideas you receive to manifest it practically, practically in this earth realm. So with the Virgo moon internally, you know how to move within this earth realm. Okay. You know how to move within this earth realm. You are in tune with the physical, let's say, you are in tune with uh, this matrix we live in, okay? Let's say with the Virgo moon, yeah, you'd be comfortable working. You'd be comfortable working jobs with the Virgo moon. That will bring comfort to you. You will not be comfortable if, if you're lazy with the Virgo moon or perceived as lazy, okay? So if people see you as lazy, you will not be comfortable. So with the Virgo moon internally, you are, you, you criticize yourself, okay? With the Virgo moon, you, you are... You are your own critic, 
okay so you are hard on yourself okay so emotionally you try to make sense of the thoughts and emotions you catch i mean thoughts and ideas you catch which can lead to emotions okay due to frequency vibration and energy okay so the thoughts and emotions you receive you 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 you, you making sense of these thoughts and emotions okay and you receive these in abundance okay but this is your moon the moon is your planet that allows you to receive okay so you receive thoughts and emotions and you know you sort of like yeah go about working on these thoughts and emotions right so i'll, I'll go ahead and compare with your astrological siblings astrological siblings signs that share the same elements with you okay so you use okay so let, let me let me go ahead and elaborate on the difference between Okay, so since I'm a spiritually inclined being and I and I give these interpretations with my individual frequency vibration. Okay, so I I use Jupiter with my Sagittarius sun. I use Mars with my Aries moon. Okay? So with the Virgo moon, right? It's like if you're not a spiritually inclined being knowing that hey, you got this planet or this or this uh you got displacement, you know, you're not using the planets and they're using you, you know, Mercury will be using you. Okay. So in a sense, if you watch one of my videos, I was talking about how every action we take in this reality comes thought first, frequency, vibration, and energy. You take, I, I just put down my, my, I carry my wand because I got the thought to carry my wand. I point at the screen because I got the thought to point at the screen. Okay? So, the same way, right, is how if you know, okay, I'm using Mercury, you know, instead of that, let's say, with this Virgo moon, if you know that, hey, I'm using Mercury, you will not be quick to act on the first thoughts and ideas that you receive, okay? Because with Virgo's moon here, like I said, you can be hard on yourself because you receive lots of thoughts, the head space, okay, Mercury, all right? Mercury dealing with that, uh, yeah. Mercury is, yeah, it's, it's sort of co correlated also with that throat chakra. Mercury is correlated with that th throat chakra, right? So and that's what I'm wanting to say. You communicate to make sense, okay? So you make sense. You actually make sense out of your thoughts as opposed to an air sign earth communicates to make sense air just communicates to communicate okay so like i said mercury's communicate uh, deal with that communication processes of the thoughts and then you communicate this you know with someone with a virgo moon so yes in a sense communication will bring comfortability with you so if people if whatever they're communicating doesn't make sense. If they're not making sense practically, because you are adaptable, you know, these, you know, that's, you won't be comfortable with these, working with these people. Okay? So like I said, you're the work of the Zodiac. You know? So, the work, you know, and, and you've, that, that you gain, you know, or you, the thoughts and ideas you receive, you know, practically, you you want to see it. So let me compare with your siblings. So you see Taurus, fixed, fixed Earth, mutable Earth. That's you, mutable Earth, cardinal Earth, and you draw the this uh, triangle. And those are those are the signs that use Earth with you. So this is cardinal. Cardinal initiates ways on how to manifest practical things. Capricorn. Initiates ways on how to manifest practical things. 
Okay, so you work on these practical things, thoughts and ideas. You work on thoughts and ideas. Okay, you communicate about them. You analyze them to the details. Okay? They just know how to manifest practical things that they love and appreciate because they use Venus, Taurus. Okay? So, like I say, right, where I was getting at earlier, since you deal with war, uh, health, you deal with the health. So, with a Virgo moon, right, mental health, like I say, because you have the tendency to be hard on yourself because you are that hard worker. And with the Virgo moon, you can be hard on yourself if you are not achieving goals or completing works, okay? So mental health, okay? Since I'm an spiritually inclined being, given this interpretation from my own individual frequency vibration, I wanna say mental health should come first since you use Mercury. Mercury deals with the processing of the thoughts, okay? So with this, you know, I, I do, let's say, recommend some sort of meditation or, you know, just something to take the mind off of work all the time, okay? To take the mind off of work, okay? Because this is the moon. The moon is your planet of comfortability, Okay, so yes, you got that moon and earth. You comfortable working, okay? You're comfortable working, right? You're comfortable working on things that you you actually, you know, deem to, to that you want to work on. But when we talking about health, you know, I got my Jupiter in this, in this house, in the sixth house, okay? So mental health should come first okay so i want to say like with this placement it's like don't be so hard on yourself right because you got a day-to-day -day routine all right and you like to work on things but what i'm trying to say is like actually take some time off for your mental health because due to frequency, vibration, and energy, okay? So if you work in physically, because you're in tune with this earth realm, this practical matrix we live in, okay? Your earth, okay? You're using your energy. You're using this physically physical energy a lot, okay? And the more you use this physical energy, you know, let's say, the less you're more in tune with your, let's say, the spirit type shit, or in the spirit realm, you know? There's a saying, the less you move, the more you're actually moving. There's a saying, the less you move, you're, you're mo actually moving the most. Those who move less actually move the most. That's a little saying, a little jewel I'm gonna drop there. Okay, so the hence why those who meditate who go within, who don't move that much, you know, are actually enlightened beings. Enlightened. Because they can see within. Okay? So, uh, yeah, with a Virgo moon, this is the, let's say, recommendation I'm, I'm going to just slide in there. Okay, don't be hard on yourself. Don't work. I know you receive thoughts and emotions a lot. Easier said than done with your energies, but uh, that's just what I'm gonna drop there. You know, pick up a habit because you are in tune with day-to-day -day routine. With this, more than likely you like to work out. More than likely you like to work out with this placement. Okay, you like with your schedule, you actually have something, you know, schedule. Okay, you know, so yeah, I'm, I'm gonna just place, I'm gonna just end that there. Fargo Moon, all right, freshest sun and out. Catch you next time.